the way we got to our, our current uh, uh, publication was really uh, based on, on Trista's original finding that prostaglandin E2 enhances blood stem cell formation. Yeah, I would say that um, prostaglandin was unique in, in many ways in that it's something that's naturally produced in the body. It would come up anyway in a regenerative setting if you had an injury to your bone marrow. Prostaglandin is something someone showed in the 70s is produced. And so we had a system where we thought we could kind of take advantage of the normal uh, factors that seem to be responding after um, hematopoietic or blood injury and, um, and try to utilize that. These are really the data that led to the approval of our clinical trial. So it, it contains uh, data in, in, in cell culture, it contains da data of uh, transplanting human cord blood stem cell cells into, uh, into mice, and also to look at uh, 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 bone marrow stem cells in, in monkeys. And this was all done with the idea to, to prove that, uh, that the, uh, the proposed trial that we had in mind um, is safe, that we can actually test uh, our compound on human cells and do not see any abnormalities these cord blood cells, which are a great source because in some ways they're naive, meaning they're more flexible than cells that come from an adult. Um, and so people who might not have a match in the registry can use these cord blood cells, but cell number is so limiting. If we have a factor that not only allows the stem cells to do what they're supposed to do, but makes more of them in the process, it becomes a very intriguing um, factor to try to use in the clinical setting.